Lockdown in Tokyo is over, so I headed out with Chris to Sake Bar Gashue for some sake. Oh, and Matt came too. Come by! They have a really great sake list with tasting notes and even sake cocktails. I quite fancy a samurai rock. We also ate a lot of food, obviously, so time to give you the delicious details. First up, sashimi. And just in case you missed Matt's face, we have kampachi, yellowtail, madai seabream, and maguro, that's tuna at the back, and wasabi. Yeah. Soft. It was just it really is melting in your mouth. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. That is really good. It's so pillow soft. This is really good sashimi actually. It just melts in your mouth. I mean all that umami. All that umami. Wow, this is in wow. <laughs> well, I've never seen it served that way before, and I'm impressed. This is dashimaki tamago, Japanese rolled omelette, and it made us pretty happy. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. It's actually a really good one. Because sometimes they can be, because they put, they put dashi fish stock in it, mm. soy sauce, but also sugar, and it gets really watered down sometimes. Yeah. And they're very watery. Even when you bite into it, it's like a sponge and water, sweet water leaks out of it. It's not good. Yeah. This one is less on the sweet side. It's still got a really nice um, texture to the egg, um, but it's soft without being rubbery. And yes. it's salty. Yes. Um, it's salty. It's not too sweet. The balance is perfect. In fact, yeah, the, um, and it's, it's just got a good, yeah. it's full of umami. Mm. This is probably mm. my top three, in my top three, dashi maki tamago. Mm. Actually, I don't normally order this because I normally get it too sweet. I don't, I've like had too one. many disappointing experiences right, right, right. with it, but... So many disappointing mm. eggs in the world, yeah. like bad eggs. Disappointing. All of the others were just yolks. Wow, okay. This is their homemade koji fried chicken. Served with mayonnaise and a good squeeze of lemon. Here we try to explain koji. It's the rice covered in the mold, and they kind of mix it in with the <laughs> the, the breadcrumbs for the chicken. I don't know how we're going to explain. It's good mold. It tastes yeah. good. Mold. Oh, it's good mold. Yeah, fungus. It's a fungus. Does that what? even sound worse? I don't know. Friendly fungus. Let's just eat. Yes. And let's yeah. show them the deliciousness. Yes. Koji is essential for making sake, and also fermenting soybeans for soy sauce and miso. It's basically a secret food god. Chris proceeds to provide some excellent information, which is much better than my table manners. My guess is what the koji, the koji actually does, is it makes it, like it fries, you know, to fry it better. You get like a better kind of, just more crispy. Really? I think so, yeah. I've heard of koji being used to like make more kind of crispy. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. That is very interesting mm, knowledge. Not necessarily for flavor. Oh, it's a very particular flavor. It can be a bit over... It can be a bit... Overpowering? It can be, yeah. Oh. Matt had a lot to say about the aged sake and chicken combo. Melt in your mouth, buttery, delicious. You've got that... Look at his happy face. Some of the best chicken... Like, I didn't expect that. Like, I expected good food, but that was some of the best Japanese-style fried chicken I've ever had. Next up, tuna and avocado yuke, served with raw egg. I like the egg. Oh my god, that was erotic. That's... I really like eggs. Phoebe really gets into the, the eggs. Chris tries to keep things under control. Did you invent the hashtag egg porn? Did that already exist? Um, yeah, no, I invented the I hashtag egg porn, for sure. Very nice hashtag. Finally, I get serious. Mm. It's kind of got a smokiness to it, but then the, the sesame oil brings out that toasted nuttiness. And it's just the texture because the tuna is so soft and so is the avocado, and the two kind of break down. 
into this harmonious experience in your mouth but then that nuttiness gives it a little bit of pep and character and I'm not talking to you anymore, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Our final dish, carbonara made with rice and raw egg. This is shime, which basically means to close the meal. It, carbohydrates um, always come at the end of a traditional course meal or here in izakaya, the way you wrap up is you go fill your belly with carbs, like go for ramen afterwards. Okay, but I just had to say that quickly because I'm so excited. This is carbonara, but done with rice. Oh my God, <laughs> look how inappropriate that egg is. My eating scene was too explicit to be included. Nothing to do with my camera battery dying. Seriously though, check out Gashue. Great sake, great food, and lucky cats. For more on the sake, check our sake channel, which is called... Super! Mm. Give me my egg bowl.